Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Hoi 3. We left off last episode with me turning the southern you the southern flank in the uh, in the Yugoslavia in Yugoslavia, and Zate started his assault on. St did you start your assault on Stockholm? I did. You did. There we are. They got Progress two garrison divisions there. So who are you going to attack next? Uh, Norway. Ah, as is tradition. Indeed. Then I'll take out Denmark, Estonia, Lithuania, Latvia, and then we'll probably attack uh, Poland together. Yeah, then we'll start moving on to grander thing. Indeed. Hmm. Ah, yes, just uh, right on time, Stalin. <laughs> oh, hey, I can actually start building the heavy industrial capacity. And speaking of industrial capacity, I should probably build the industrial capacity in the capital, in Japan, and then build maybe four levels of the heavy industry. That it's is going to basically good double idea. the. I do that up too. Yeah. Alright, so. Oh, I can't, I, ha I, I can't manually do that yet. I don't have the tech. Ah, oh, yeah. It's a bit odd that I haven't had any of the... Oh, you know what? I know. I don't have enough money to get the veteran unit opportunity. Oh. Cause yeah, you do have to... It's not much, but you do have to pay a little bit. I got a lot yeah. of money I got from uh, from Germany. Germany, yeah. yeah it's about 500... Uh, I don't know what to call them. Uh, ducats? Yeah, we'll just go with ducats. I only got 400 right now, so I can't afford that. You down there. Oh, yeah, I've got 4,500. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I got 5,500 from Germany. Possibly. It, it, it was a bunch. Yeah, I'm currently losing a little bit of money because I'm trading quite a bit. As soon as you arrive... We're going to assist in the assault over this way. Oh, they're sending another division here. And they're trying to run away from here. I can't allow that. Those Yugosla that last Yugoslavian division, it is like it's fighting to the death. I'm pretty sure that that garrison division is not going to be a problem there. Ah, yes, there we go. Ah, 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 major victory! Huzzah! As soon as reinforcements are, are, are arrived in the battle, they just turn around and red ran. So <laughs> one one unit was uh, was was fighting that that uh, one Yugoslavian division for ages, and the other one shows up and just takes the glory. Oh, yeah. Like we showed up and victory was assured. Okay, so I'm going to surround... Actually, do I have enough... Yes, I do. So I can actually surround those divisions here. Don't mind if I do. Of course, it's going to be a bit tricky to do that, but I think I can manage that. Alright, pocket has been reduced. We eliminated four Yugoslavian divisions, and we're working on another pocket as well. Okay, so they managed to switch one of the garrison divisions in Stockholm into uh, ski division. Skiing through the streets. <laughs> Apparently. In August. Okay, is this, uh, oh, this division needs a lot more strength before we can send them anywhere. And um, actually, right, well, the key here is going to be to cancel the attacks so that they can't, so that they're not forced to retreat. Hopefully, oh, and we have extra divisions. Attack! Oh, there we go. We want to fight. They lost uh, three times the units that we did. Excellent. 
actually. Let's uh, do... Punish the enemy? I don't think we need to uh, burn the ground. Yeah, we intend to use the ground. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to take your factories and repurpose them as my own. Now, yeah, now that the, 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 the fronts have collapsed and we can focus our efforts and progress. Oh, yeah. Uh, Actually, have a look at your wall there. Oh. Yeah, it's going pretty well. Yeah. They're stacking a ton of units in their in their capital, but that's perfectly fine. Oh yeah, well that is what they usually do. Yeah. Yeah. Normally uh, when I'm playing against Germany, like this, the, the there's hundreds of thousands of men usually end up stacking in uh, Brussels. <laughs> yeah. It's because I usually I I always surround. Um, I I do like a uh, a pincer attack, um, and I go I send usually one. One group of men north of Brussels and one group of men south of Brussels, and it usually ends up capturing all of the Belgian military and like half the French one in there. Oh yeah. Okay, this Swedish division should be in pretty bad shape. Maybe uh, they lose most of their men already trying to attack on us, so now that we can't try attack. So, must send units in circlement. Hmm, that was Stockholm is actually going quite well. Let's see the only defending division there is uh, down to 60% strength. Nice. Oh, and you're on the border of another VP too. Oh, yeah. Just don't have enough troops around there to do a proper attack right now. Yeah. Not to mention a lot of the units kind of need some reinforcements right now. Support attack! Man, I played this game for a lot before I realized supporting attack was a thing. Oh, yeah, I actually... In the previous stream with Moss, while well, teaching the game, I actually told him that, and he was quite happy to know that. Oh, it's a, it's 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 great because it's basically just attack but don't follow. Yeah. Which is really nice because you don't have to worry about leaving gaps in your line. Okay, yeah, this pocket should be dealt with pretty soon. All right, you guys got proper guns yet? No. Okay, infantry rifles, support weapons, they're reinforcing, or they're re-equipping, but not quite. Alright, we'll get there. Oh, they brought in another division to Stockholm. Only 50% though, but... Well, once we clear out that, uh, we can start uh, encircling Stockholm. That should make things a lot easier. There we go. Oh, you know what? I, ju I just realized that normally at this time I'm I'm taking Penny for a walk. I'm gonna have to find time later in the day to do that. Ah, yeah. That'll be bad at me. I completely completely forgot that that's normally what I do in the morning. <laughs> Come on, encirclement. I love that technology noise. Oh yeah, I just got infantry and tank weapons upgraded. Woo! What, 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 what would I mean at, at this point? That would just be like a uh, anti-tank rifle, probably. Yeah. Well, fin, if I remember that. correctly, the Finns actually had a really good anti-tank rifle. It was decent, but it could match uh, the like T-34s or KV-1s or anything like that. Oh well, yeah, no, no anti-tank rifle is going to take out a proper tank like that. Well, this is 1936 we're talking about. True. We're talking about, uh, you know, like T-60s and things like that. Is that what it was? 
Those little uh, BT, oh, B, there's BT5, BT7, T something, T40, T50, T60, something like T26, that. T26, so uh, oh, there's at least that. one of them. Yeah, uh, there was that. Alright, let's send any more troops this way. No, I actually I almost have uh, my fighters complete. That's nice. Ooh, nice. So it's only two squadrons to do, but I mean, considering my entire air force is three squadrons, it's almost doubling the size. Ah, oh, yeah. So I don't I'll, have I'll any. I'll take it as a small victory. Yeah, I don't have any blueprints right now for aircraft, but I'm working on it. Ah, uh, yeah. Here we go. Spoiling attacks necessarily strategically uh, uh, important, but it'll slow down their reinforcements. Oh, agriculture advance. Lovely. Ooh, that's uh, manpower, right? Yep. That's going to be very useful for me. Oh, yeah. Speed, the, the, pace, the pace of the advance is definitely slowed down now that we're, we're going acro across rivers and into hills and stuff like that, but that's okay. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, you I technically them. send some of the troops on the river, on the other side of the river, and attack from that side. That's that's what I'm doing right now. Fair enough. I've uh, I've swooped around to the south, and there's I, I've basically redeployed some troops into that region, and I'm attacking on every... Uh, from every direction from that little flanking maneuver I made just to uh, basically spoil their reinforcements. Ah. Well, Stockholm has been surrounded. They should Whee! be surrendering in the near future. There was much rejoicing. Indeed. Uh, you know what? We are going to take two divisions that are sitting here doing nothing. We're going to strategically redeploy all around the line. I'm gonna come in from the rear. Gonna help with those attacks. All right, so that garrison is about to be surrounded. Oh, yeah, I would say that the Swedish are in a bit of a pickle. Or a pickle herring. <laughs> I was about to say, there's a joke in there somewhere. <laughs> yep, there goes Stockholm. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, so we lost 4,000 men, they lost 12,000. It's about a few. Yep. Alright, my first production unit has been completed. Those The one thing of interceptors is done. Nice. I feel, I feel good about that. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're just they're just biplanes, but you know. Yeah, they probably are, but got, it's better than nothing. Yeah, I got I got to work with what I got. I mean, that's the good start with Finland. They start with decent air force. They just can't build more. Yeah, <laughs> we have planes. We just don't know how to reverse engineer them. Yep. Well, I mean, uh, well, I was about to say Sweden. I don't. I have no idea what uh, Finland would have been equipped with plane-wise at the time. Wait, what? I mean, maybe purchased from the British? Uh, they purchased some from the British, and well, yeah. I think eventually during the continuation war, they got some planes from Germany as well and all that. Mm. But they did start, or in the Winter War, they finished it. Still have like the Gladiator Glossers. Mm. The biplanes. Oh, they're trying to attack me here. Yeah, they're, uh, we're just gonna have to uh, collapse this. We're not gonna, this pocket's just not going to work. They're putting, they're, it's taking too long, they're putting up too much of a fight, so we're just going to collapse it down. Ah, yeah. They're, they're managing to cycle in troops at the uh, the choke point um, too quickly, so I'm just gonna collapse it down and because it's it's take it's, it's it's not worth the uh, the time. Yeah. Give me money. No, oh, I got a lot of spies. Maybe I should try to steal some tech from the Germany. 
That's what, you know, that's a good idea. I'll do that too. Intelligence, Axis, Germany, send spies. Is it military espionage? Uh, it's uh, tech espionage. Oh, tech espionage. Tech espionage. There we go. Hold on. Oh, they managed to shatter one of my divisions. That's not good. Wasn't paying attention. On the well, other hand, it was shattered a small means division. they go back to your capital, right? Yeah. Well, that's a ways. <laughs> that's pretty far. Oh, yeah. I do have some extra divisions around here, though, so it's not the end of the world. Wow, they're almost they're they're almost defeated, anywho. Yeah, for the most part. It's been they can... a long time since I played a, a miner in this game. It's kind of nice playing like a little microcosm. Where you oh can really yeah. Focus on what's going on. I like it. I mean, obviously, I played uh, Finland quite often. Mm -hmm. I actually did. Uh... On Black Eyes, I did a series, and that's like one and a half years ago, but I did as Finland. I managed to... Uh, basically, I in Winter War, I advanced a little bit, then I made peace with what I had. And later on, I once the Allies had uh, stomped Germany, I <laughs> attacked Germany and took out what they had. It was quite a fight, but I managed to win them. Excellent. And then I joined the Allies and we destroyed Soviet Union. Like you do. It's tradition. Yep. How bad was the, the fighting the Soviet Union from that point? Well, I mean, uh, the thing is, at least at that version of the mod, uh, after I think like uh, 46 or something like that, uh, the modifiers that the mod had, like, things do more and more damage. So after 46, those modifiers ended entirely. So once I attacked the uh, Soviets, it was something like in the 50s. So it wasn't too bad. Oh, okay. Especially once the United States and Great Britain and all those were helping. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not saying it was easy, but it was manageable. Well, for fin I, I feel like Finland's a good jumping off point, more so than what Germany works with. In a way, yeah. Leningrad's right there. Moscow. Well, I don't know. The the terrain in the north is 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 is, is terrible. It's all swamps yeah. and. Uh... But on the other hand, that's uh, terrible for the enemy as well. So if they yeah. manage to stop you, them making a counterattack is very hard for them. Yeah. Right, terrain is very important in this game. So oh let's, yeah. Let's go with simplified terrain map mode. So for for me, whenever I played as uh, as Germany, the Pripyat Marshlands was was the uh, like the pivot points of my of my attacks. There was always a uh, usually um, the majority of my armor, maybe seventy percent of it, was usually in the south of the Pripyat Marshlands because that's just all plains everywhere you need oh, to go. Oh yeah. And then once you uh, in the north of the Pripyat Marshlands, there's like a little channel. It's also all plains, like heading straight towards Moscow. And I usually never ended up uh, sending tanks towards Leningrad unless there was a uh, dire necessity because it's just forests and swamps up there and tanks don't do well in that terrain. Yeah, I mean, actually, I usually what I do is I don't do the Molotov Rip and Drop Pact, at least in vanilla, when I play Germany, and I just take out entire Poland and the Baltic states. So oh, yeah. I start a lot closer. Yeah, same here. All of Poland, all the Baltic states, that gets you a lot, uh, a lot closer. Than if you yeah. the Soviet, it's just less less Soviet Union to chew through. Yeah, uh, we know how bad the Soviets can be on defensive. Mm -hmm. And uh, one other benefit of that is it gives you more time to build up infrastructure further into the front. Oh yes. Yeah. Yes, the front's starting to move again. Let's see where are their other VPs? Oh, we're actually approaching another one. Let's head towards it. Forward! I'm actually approaching uh, Sweden's uh, remaining VPs. 
quite quickly here, so I might be able to win this war before December. Sounds good to me. And I can, uh, in 37, I can take out Norway, Denmark, and probably Estonia. It's a good plan for 37. Well, <laughs> we're only nine months into the game. Yeah. I mean, if this was not one four, we'd be already halfway through. I, I was about to say, we'd be half done. Don't you dare counterattack me. You son of a bitch. Hmm. Yeah, let's get some recall units. It's a bad attack. Cancel that. Some of these, some of these battles with the uh, the tougher ones with the Yugoslavians have been going on for two episodes now. <laughs> yeah. They have a lot, but it, it's the ones like around their capital, so they're they're cycling troops in and out pretty uh pretty readily. So the battles yeah. can ra rather than the battle ending, they they retreat one unit and bring in a fresh one. That is what usually happens. Mm -hmm. But we're just about done with one of these. I don't think they're going to be able to get any fresh troops in because uh, of various other spoiling attacks I'm doing. So that'll collapse down the frontage a, a good deal and allow me to make some more progress. Sounds good. Yeah. Excellent. All right, and we're building those infantry now. I haven't really, I haven't, I haven't like touched any of their their industrial areas or resources yet, so. I'm not benefiting uh, from yeah. that just now, but we'll get there. Oh, well, I'm actually managed to get a little bit of factories now. Not many. Yeah. But on the other hand, once I annex Sweden, that's going to give me a lot more. Major victory: four thousand dead uh, to thirteen thousand enemies. That was, a, that was a long battle. Ooh, supply production. That's a good. Whole donations. All right, now that entire army corps could just wheel around and attack a flank. <laughs> That'll allow us to actually surround Sophia. I'm currently on trading with the United States. You got the automated trade also. Yeah. I'm I never really focus too heavily on trade in this game. I mean, sometimes when I know that if I keep trading or keep the automated trade, it's going to keep the overseas trades going and that's going to cost a lot in convoys, then I usually cancel that, but... Mm. Like, is Germany, I think I've, I've put the most effort into it just to make sure I had enough rares and... Uh... And to make sure that I didn't have, you know, convoys that were going straight through enemy territory in really ridiculous manners. Yeah. I don't think their surrender progress changed, no. Okay, Sweden is at surrender progress 83.3%. Still got a little bit of ways to go. Mm-hmm. Ready. Cool. Getting a little bit more in production too. Nice. Good. How are these guys doing? Hmm. I really need to envelop them. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these guys, these three divisions. You are going to head south. German right. blueprint stolen. Oh, what'd you get? Infantry unit command and control to level two. So morale. That's morale, yeah. That's, I was going to say that's either morale or organization. I couldn't remember which, but yeah, that's good. Yeah. All right, interceptors. Might as well go out and uh, air intercept over Yugoslavia. Good luck. Steel production. Mm. Huzzah.
I think the sound effect that throws the most people off in this game is when you click on an avian and it goes woo because it just sounds like Star Trek sound effects. Oh, right. Woo. Sounds like oh. uh, the, the original series, like communicator noise, I think it was. Ah, but it is that time again. Oh, jeez. Is this me or you? This was you. Okay. Uh, thank you for watching, everybody. We do appreciate it. All pertinent links can be found in the description below. Like, there'll be links to the other channels and Patreon and Discord and things like that. And we'll see you all next time. Bye.